Hey guys, uh, this is Nira from Informatica and uh, today I'm gonna have a quick uh, demo for uh, IoT device. Uh, the use case is pretty simple. I mean, uh, we are just collecting the uh, photos or grabbing the photos from one of our IoT device. The IoT device is nothing but our uh, Pi. Uh, Pi is a small computer system and uh, what we are gonna do in this demo is that we, we take a image of uh, one of our uh, air quality index detector and we're going to analyze that image using the amazon recognition text to i mean extract section and then afterwards what we're going to do that once we get the data we can in congestion with the data we're going to orchestrate the whole process of how we parse the data and how we get the data into our on-premises database so with that, uh, let me just jump into the demo. And before I jump into my demo, let me just quickly show, walk you through my hardware. So pardon me for my, um, yeah, camera. Okay, so this is typically my Pi device, and this is my Pi camera, and this is my um, air quality index detector. And we would be interested to know about this guy over here, the big rectangle. So you can you can configure your uh, area of interest in this particular image, uh, but for me I would be looking forward with this one. So with that, let me just put that camera and uh, just try to you know start the demo. Okay, here we go. So let me just quickly uh, share stop my video and share my screen. So if you see the screen, let me just walk you through the quick. Uh, Pi, I mean diagram about what we're gonna do in this session is number one thing is we have our Pi device which I just showed you we have a camera connected and in front of the camera we have some text or some pictures appears and it, it keeps changing it keeps updating and for that moment uh, is a simple use case what we are doing is we are capturing the image of that uh, uh, particular thing like a, a, a still camera we take an image of the uh, pa the air quality index detector and we try to get the values out of that uh, detector so like hey what is the values that you got grab it so what this does is pi is just behaving like a um, just just behaving like a small device and it just stores the day of cap photo capture on its storage the moment photo stores in its storage there will be a process trigger from an Informatica side, what it does is that it moves that photo from the Pi device to the Amazon S3 storage bucket. Once the storage bucket receives that chip JPG image file, there is a Lambda function in the background which triggers out the processing of image image and using the recognition text extract text uh, data. So this function we will explore it a little later. And then what happens that the Lambda function, our recognition so, uh, um, machine learning thing split out the whole text data which we, they understood from the image. Uh, image will be something like this. And then they kind of spit it out. Now those data will be like a pretty heavy JSON based data and like you know you have to go traverse through the multiple entities, understand it, where it is, how, how the structure it is, what data you are interested in. And then you have to parse it according to you and then you have to make your parser and then once you parse your data then you have to push your data to your on-prem database now in this scenario uh, your this runtime environment is our cloud informatica cloud secure agent this can be on your own premises or it can be also on your cloud environment uh, it's up to your choice i mean we support both the models and both are supported in this scenario so for me, I have my on-premises system. So my on-premises DB and my cloud agent is also on on-prem. And these are all in the cloud. So with that, uh, let me just quickly go back to, I mean, go to the point where we have created the, now you, I mean, we've gone through the diagram. Now let me quickly show you what we are doing here. So this is my small script, which is kind of taking the pictures. Uh, with the current date timestamp and pushing it to some location now we are monitoring this location by camera images and what happens that and as soon as any images comes into this location we try to push push this images to the s3 bucket over here 
if you see that there are a couple of list of already the process is already running in the background if you see this one it's already capturing the images and images are lying um, put it over here so the moment it lands here the process takes from the image here and write it to the s3 bucket automatically you don't need to write even a single piece of code for this so it's all done automatically using the single process and it's hardly configuring in within a few minutes i mean within a three or four minutes so with that let me just uh, take you to that process as well and uh, if you see that the process is pretty simple move file from uh, pi to s3 so if you see the process it's pretty simple two-step process this is a start and end we can consider as a as a one step to configure your uh, ob object request and second step is just give your file name and writing it so these are the two processes only we're going to create it at our end followed by that we are also having our lambda function which is uh, nothing but lesser than the 50 lines of code in python which has the client for boto and uh, boto client for s3 bucket and recognition which is going to go do a text extract for us and dumps the data into our url so if you see this url better viewing here if you see this python code which is simple python code we are creating a client for recognition and s3 and just we are inputting the s3 object and this uh, function is a basically depends upon your trigger so we are triggering this lambda function whenever any incoming file arrives in the s3 and then as a destination output i'm just push, pushing uh, or flushing the data whatever the data comes out of the recognition into an sns topic which eventually email me at my email address so so technically uh, this will look like this data so let me just show you there are a couple of file processing in the meantime when we are seeing the video so if you see that the data comes from the recognitions is like this uh, i think this is the end of the data and typically it's all about json now out of this json you have to find your in area of interest what you are looking for and what is your text that you are interested in to storing in your database you can store whole uh, you can store a part of part of it or you can store only the part you are interested in it and and so and so forward so like you know if you want to have a signal to noise noise ratio more you can store all the things you can certainly filter out certain things and you can only cherry pick those which you are interested in it okay so with that i i think this will, this one will be a little conversion process to ingest this much amount of data and then find out which are interesting fields in it and and so on and so forth so now i'm coming to the another point where there is another process which we have designed here and this process has only intent to get the data and just get the data out of a whole payload which is as a data which i just showed you a moment ago this payload gets it here and this process automatically gets you the desired amount of data and then it kind of you know push this data into your sql server table so if i see this one here i have a sql server table here ppm underscore monitor and this is where i'm just pushing my data so if you see that i am i'm inserting my data here and it's it's going so far so with this one, uh, let me just show you a quick uh, uh, quick uh, uh, recap about how the processing happens. So let me just go back here uh, one step and uh, let me just open up a couple of images which we just see that. So this image is generated at 10.07, uh, sorry, 11.07, uh, which is like a couple of minutes back. And let's see, the value was eight. If you see that we are interested in this value, so now if I go back to my database, I can see that value it as here. So it's like, you know, it inserted into this one. And and sometimes what happened that uh, since sometimes your cam camera gets shaken up and your resolution or, or, or sometimes you get some noise ratio. So this data is I'm seeing here is nothing but it's coming from here. So sometimes you may get this value, but most of the time it's pretty accurate that you get the right amount of values and it, it, it gets it from here. So this is typically all, all, all how, how, the work, uh, how the overall uh, connection works, how the, all the integration works with Informatica. And uh, typically whenever your process runs, you can see that all the things. So here you don't have to do any sort of, you know, uh, uh, investment in the, machine learning things it's already ready it's just grab and uh, use it and then just i mean your lambda function is only run during the 
time of the processing and once it splits out the data you are done with that so you don't necessarily keep this running neither anything you have to keep it all always running okay so with that let me just quickly uh, go through this one so that you know you can see the latest some of the images that we grab it and we can check it out on this one so every three minutes i guess every three minutes or two lesser than the theme three minutes some 150 seconds we generate a one brand new file that file will get ingested so if you see that right now we have 2322 and uh, let me just clear out my s3 bucket so you can see this live transition so i'm going to just get rid of the files and yeah if you see that now we got 2312 files which was there yeah this was the last two files and i think now we got all the the bucket is empty and eventually once the file is generated i guess uh, in another couple of minutes then the file will be the file will come arrive i mean file will be arrives here and then it's actually moved to your s3 bucket automatically and once your processing is done you will receive this sort of a message so let's say this one was done for 11 14 and then we will see the whole data into this one so let's see uh, for another wait for another wait for another ex successful execution here and uh, with that if you see now i got the 20 13 50 data and if i go to my system here i can see this data is created let's verify that you know what is the uh, values that we are expecting into this one as i mentioned sometimes you may get a different value because of some changes in the settings sometimes you grab this area but most of the time it's accurate so we are expecting 11 in our database so let's go back to our sql server database and see the values yeah we expected 11 and we got the 11 so that's pretty solid and uh, that's pretty uh, that's the power of the informatica that we bring into the uh, integration world so so i mean you can you can integrate them different components you can you can i mean sky is the limit typically here so you can you can integrate it you can design your flows like you know you can build your dashboard you can bring the data so many things you can do it with that so this is one of the use cases that iot devices which you can do it using this one you can you can bring your device you can stream your devices to to the data to the ics platform you have a huge support for that and uh, once again thank you very much for watching this long video i appreciate your time on this one have a good day bye bye take care